Okay. I am Scott Milliken, also known as Dolomite. I uh, have been uh, running this convention for the last, what is it, four years now. And I just wanted to welcome you. Uh, this is the actual start, official start of Freaknik. Uh, we've got, uh, I think, 22 hours of presentations coming on uh, in the next two days. Got quite a bit of stuff, uh, lots of good content. Um, I do have one announcement to make regarding some of the content. There will not be an anime room this year. Uh, Jeff Wee Ng, who runs that for us, uh, is sick and was un unable to make it from Knoxville, and he's got all the videos. So we don't really have anything to show for the anime room, so that's just going to be canceled for this year. Uh, hopefully he'll be in uh, much better shape, and we'll have that again for next year. Um, Anybody have any questions about what goes on at Freak Nick? Uh, how many people are here for the first time? Raise your hand. Holy crap. That's good. That's good. So we've got a lot of people who've been here for years and who know that I don't really ever say anything useful, and that's why they're not up here right now. Uh, the other thing is if you are interested in watching the presentations from your room or recording, uh, you are welcome to record whatever you want. Uh, you can podcast, you can uh, hook up a VCR, PVR, whatever. You can record from your room if you wish. Uh, this is going out on the hotel channel number 16. A lot of the uh, televisions, though, do not have channel 16 programmed. So you may be kind of SOL, but there are quite a few people running around that have universal remotes that you can borrow or ask around, and uh, they can program the TV for you or uh, tune it to channel 16. So uh, just ask around. The main purpose of, uh, of the convention here is to network with other people, uh, to meet other people who have similar interests. Uh, this is not just a hacker con. Uh, it started off as a hacker con nine years ago. Uh, basically now it's pretty much everything that, uh, you know, our culture is really interested in. So we've got a lot of stuff around um, arts. We've got things around technology. Uh, we've got gaming downstairs. Uh, if you haven't looked at what the actual uh, official gaming tournaments are, I suggest that you take a look at that. It's on the web page. Um, we've got tonight Drunken DDR. So uh, I know we've got a lot of people who said that they were going to show up just for the Drunken Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, two years ago, I think, you remember if we did Drunken Coding two years ago or was it last year? Official Drunken Coding where we had prizes. I think it was two years ago. So, yeah, two years ago we had drunken coding contest. This year it's drunken DDR. Um, basically the way that it works is that you have to uh, be to the point where you're not legally allowed to drive. So you got to blow a .08 before you can even participate in a round. And uh, we're, not, uh, we're not wanting anybody to get alcohol poisoning, so I think .18 is your cutoff. And uh, .4 would be pretty much your comatose. So... Uh, at point one eight, uh, most people would be uh, ready to grab a bucket uh, anyway. So, uh, but there's a handicap system. I think point oh four, you get uh, no handicap, or point oh eight, you get no handicap. Point oh nine, you get five thousand point bonus to start. So the the drunker you are, the uh, less real points you have to actually make. But uh, who knows that five thousand points may be pretty pretty quick and easy to get through. Uh, we've also got, uh, I believe, Halo uh, tournament. We've got UT2K uh, tournament tomorrow. Um, we've got live action role playing. Um, Oddball is going to be running several uh, games this weekend. And then we've also got the Wi Fi race. Uh, this is going to be a really cool one. Skydog's uh, taking care of that. Uh, it's going to be a fox and the hound type of uh, Wi Fi race. So the uh, access point will not be stationary. You got to find it, and you got to pull the key off of it. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm glad everybody could make it out here. Um, we're finalizing all of the audio and video right now. Uh, this will be recorded. It will be available. Uh, we'll put it up on the web after we get it all uh, transcoded down to something that's small enough, because uh, uh, raw files would be looking at about uh, 15 gigs, and uh, I don't have that much bandwidth. I don't think many of you do either. <laughs> so. But, uh, again, thanks for making it, and uh, enjoy. Yes, you missed it.
Oh, uh, one other thing, uh, in case you don't know where things are, uh, the other big room that's up here on the ninth floor is the con suite. So if you get hungry, get thirsty, uh, we got munchies in there. I think it's going to be staffed until midnight each night. We've got all the gaming downstairs in the big ballroom uh, where all the big balls are, I guess. Um, yeah, so don't, don't. Yes, I mentioned the events, the drunken DDR. and the, Yes. Oh, and let's see, we have a comedy show tomorrow night as well, uh, the Comedy Freaks comedy show, and uh, a costume party, a uh, masquerade ball uh, right before the Comedy Freaks show. Um, and let's see, the, the BBS documentary drinking game is tonight as well. Uh, that's going to start at, I think, 10 o'clock, according to the schedule. So I don't have a copy of the program. <laughs> you might have any other questions? All right. This has been a test of the Freak Nick Broadcasting System. In case of a real emergency, the federal authorities would be looking straight at you as the f- primary suspects. <laughs>